Hello guys, welcome to Steve Knows. We have lots of Quest 3 news today, such as going over the video leak, its release date leak, and some accessories that are very, very welcome. Plus, I have some software mentions and something else that I found rather interesting. Also, a massive thank you from me because of the last update I posted and the gameplay video I posted. You guys had such kind words to say. I wasn't expecting it. I needed it. It helped a lot. So just a massive thank you, you legends. That is enough chin wagging. Let's get started. So this was mentioned a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't brought it up and it fits in with the topic of discussion today, the Quest 3, and it comes with some news that I'm itching to share. But this, this is about the dock. It's not been officially announced, but it does have an FCC filing approval and Meta have taken the docking approach with the Pro. They told me to my face they would take features from the Pro headset, things that worked, and they will trickle them down into this consumer-friendly priced device that we know as the quest and to corroborate this we have promotional images of the zuck using the product and we can see him looking more robotic than usual but we can see the magnetic connection pins at the bottom of the headset it is these pins that would connect to the dock and charge the device but steve don't the controllers use double a batteries yes but there is some additional note here as well that in this filing it mentions something rather exciting i wasn't expecting it but it is a joy to have and that is wireless charging for the controllers so i would assume they would need some special battery cover to enable this and that would come with the dock purchase because i don't believe the dock is going to come packaged with the quest they're going to pull an apple and it's going to be an extra cost to use it if you are a Quest Pro user, you know that trying to put these controllers down in that dock with that headset is a rather strange struggle that I never thought I'd be sharing. You kind of like put them together and place them down and give them a wiggle to make sure that they're in. It's a bit cumbersome. And again, to stress, this is not officially announced, but it seems like a very 2023 third gen like accessory that could make them some more dollar bills. I've had my Pro on my desk and it makes life so much easier having that dock to charge it. Because when I used my Quest 2, it was always dead. Anytime I wanted to pick it up, dead. You may be dead. You maybe did what? You may be dead. Now let's talk about the actual Quest 3 before I talk about the release date leak. Once again, some hotel employee found the Quest headset. Very much like the Quest Pro, how that was found in some hotel. What is going on? Are people really leaving gifts like this inside a hotel room? Or is this a get out of jail free card? I don't know. I found this in a place where there is constantly people coming in and out all the time. I cannot identify the source of this device. We also just seem to know exactly what it is and thought I'd share it online. It sucks. But it's to our benefit, so let the video play. So the first thing you see is the box, and it is tiny. I love this box, it's like a box of donuts. But no, this is a portal to other worlds. Inside this box is a tiny compact device that looks like the configuration of how the dock could work that we just spoke about. So in it, we have two controllers and a headset gleaming white with a huge interface in black. The headset is tiny, it's 40% thinner than the Quest 2. We also see the elasticated strap that will go gray in about two weeks, so make sure you wash your hands and your hair when using this device. When this is lifted, we see there is a USB-C port on the left of the headset, including the on button, and you can also see all the sensors and cameras through the front of the device when the light catches it at a certain angle. There's also volume control and the IPD wheel at the bottom of the headset and the three pins that we just mentioned. Something that we didn't know though that we got from this video is that it should have lens adjustment so you can bring the lenses closer or further away from you. Amazing if you have glasses to give you some extra space so you're not scratching those lovely pancakes. The controllers though are looking rather plain. I know some of you might like this minimalistic design because it's very minimal but something about it just throws me off. When I look at it, like when you really really stare, does it look like an emoji or a baby chewing on a dummy aka a pacifier for my American friends? <laughs> So aside from that, there's not really much new from this video, but we do get to live vicariously through the hotel employee who finds these devices. I cannot wait to get my hands on one. And just when can you get your hands on one? Which moves us on nicely to the Amazon leak. This was posted in some of my private chats and on Twitter. This is a shot of the Amazon page that I just could not find. It might have been an American store. They might have taken it down. I just couldn't find it. And it describes the quest. But at the bottom, it says its release date is the 10th of October. Two weeks exactly 
after the official Kinect event. Amazon's default when it's unaware of a release date, I believe, is the end of the year, like New Year's. Comment down below if you know. I think it's New Year's, but if it's not, please let me know. So the expectation of it being available to order on Connect Day may be true for pre-orders, because that is when end of the month payday hits for people, but the official release looks like it's going to be two weeks later. This is going to be the longest couple of weeks ever. <laughs> And now I have even more leaks, more than Grandma's Stew. This one is a tech leak and it's pretty epic for those who like to share on social media or watch live streams of people roaming the city. What this now means is that you can see through my eyes. What? So The Verge have posted a leak on the new gen Ray-Ban Stories glasses. They are now going to allow you to stream video directly to live stream services through the cameras on your glasses. And the audience can then respond and you'll hear voices in your ear. I assume it's text to speech. You're not actually gonna hear people talking to you. It'll be some sort of computer. But isn't that just insane? You'll have POV live streams of anything. You can have theme park rides, tourist spots. Maybe someone needs help building a Lego set and you'll have two hands and a POV view. This is just a creator's dream, a very practical upgrade. And I find this rather exciting. But, hmm, let's just be sure to turn it off if you're going to use the bathroom, because that's a different subscription tier. You don't get that for free. We now have a new game from a legendary VR dev that brought us Richie's Plank. All the videos that that game has provided us. Oh, oh, he did it. The title is a different approach or attempt at making a VR platformer, which not many have been able to live up to PlayStation's Astro Bot but Toast Interactive did release a trailer for Max Mustard. I'd love to know how they came up with that name. It's super random. In this game, it looks like you are controlling a character who is observing the world and controlling Max, who is also within it. So it's like a self-help game. You'll have coin collection, puzzles, jumping and enemy combat, a classic platformer recipe. And it looks like a chill good time, to be fair. The style fits the genre very, very well. I. I'm actually looking forward to this. I'm, I'm getting lazier as I game as I get older. We also have the developers of Eleven Table Tennis, a fantastic table tennis simulator. If you were interested in trying it, they are now dropping a family-friendly beer pong VR game. For those of you that are at college and don't have any friends to enjoy this with in real life, you can play with your family remotely. I took a computer science degree. I understand, don't worry. So this is available now for £8 or around $10 and this is utilising the amazing ping pong physics that they developed in their previous title. So it's going to feel absolutely fantastic. We kind of needed this game during the lockdown period really, didn't we? A remote drinking game to drown our sorrows. So a perfect title to add to your game night list. And thank you so much, guys. I'm going to end it there. This was a very Quest 3-like update today. Some exciting news. And it's almost the same leak process every dang year. Hire a better plumber, please. It would be awesome if one year we could have a secret drop. No one knew it was happening and it just blew us away. And we could just come together and jump on the hype train. Please stick around for Quest 3 updates. I'll be getting my hands on one very, very soon. And have a great week. Happy gaming, guys. Good day!